Remember when China was once considered the trailblazer in electric vehicles? Well, it seems like they're now facing a slowdown in EV sales. This shift isn't just a local hiccup, it's a global trend. Manufacturers worldwide are not only struggling to boost sales, but also to turn a profit in the EV market. So why is this happening and what does it mean for the future of EVs in China? One key reason is the deceleration of EV market growth. China witnessed explosive growth in EVs in recent years with approximately 8 million plug-in electric cars hitting the road in 2023, making up about 37% of the total market share. However, this growth has hit the brakes, raising concerns about the sustainability of the EV market in China. Now let's zoom in on EVs alone. They commanded about 25% of the market share in 2023 with a year-over-year -year growth rate of just 31%. What's fascinating is that this slowdown wasn't across the board. The real star of the show, plug-in hybrids, which saw an explosive 80% surge in sales, capturing 12% of the market. So what's behind the shift? Chinese consumers might be leaning towards the familiar, slightly more conventional vehicle layout. Chinese consumers are increasingly favoring plug-in hybrids, and it's not hard to see why. These vehicles are often cheaper and alleviate concerns about range and charging anxiety. Additionally, China's population generally has less purchasing power compared to North America and Europe, making cost a significant factor in purchasing decisions. With the China's economy slowing down, many citizens are opting to invest in real estate rather than expensive electric cars. Similar to North America, China is moving past the early adopter phase of EVs. The middle class, which is crucial for sustaining EV sales, appears hesitant to embrace new transportation technologies. In 2017, China witnessed a sales peak of 24 million cars, a number that now seems like a dream. Fast forward to today and the reality is very different with sales plummeting to 21.7 million. But the real shocker lies in the plight of dealerships. Overproduction of electric cars has flooded the market, creating a nightmare for sellers. Thousands of dealers, including major players, have already succumbed to bankruptcy. In China, a haunting new phenomenon has emerged. EV graveyards. These graveyards, filled with abandoned electric cars, are a chilling sight, a grim reminder of what could happen if the push for EVs goes too far. Nearly every major city in China now has one of these graveyards, with hundreds if not thousands of EVs left to decay in fields. One major issue is that most EV makers are struggling to turn a profit. Despite selling a decent number of vehicles, they have yet to crack the code on profitability. While these startups initially received substantial government support, they failed to establish a sustainable business model in the EV economy. As a result, they have failed to establish a sustainable business model in the EV economy. As a result, only a handful of companies are actually making a profit while the rest are losing money. In recent months, several EV startups, including some big names, have declared bankruptcy. Some of the most promising companies of just a few years ago have now crumbled. Take Evergrande New Energy Auto, for example. Part of a massive conglomerate with seemingly endless resources, it was in a prime position to succeed. However, despite its advantageous position, it failed to turn a profit or sell its models in significant numbers. In fact, recent estimates suggest that the company lost a staggering $17 million. The outlook for the first quarter of this year is bleak with expectations of a significant slowdown. This downturn underscores the challenges facing the Chinese EV market and serves as a cautionary tale for the rest of the world. The number of companies has plummeted. However, insiders suggest that at least one-third of these remaining companies produce fewer than 500 vehicles quarterly, indicating that their days are numbered. The market is heavily concentrated, with the top 10 brands commanding over 80% of the plug-in market share. BYD leads the pack with a 33.8% market share, followed by Tesla with 7.5%. Other notable players include Gak Ion, Saik GM Wuling, Li Auto, Tongan, and Geely, each accounting for 6% or less. BYD stands out as the only Chinese EV maker to have turned a profit. 
Additionally, the industry is facing an ongoing price war initiated by BYD, further squeezing the margins of struggling companies. With such fierce competition and market concentration, the future looks grim for many of these EV makers. The situation in China's EV market is indeed dire, with countless companies facing bankruptcy or teetering on the edge. Some startups are collapsing almost as soon as they're established, hinting at deeper issues within the industry. It appears that the market is rife with bubbles, unsustainable growth, and unrealistic expectations. Given the scenario, authorities must take notice and prepare appropriate measures to mitigate the potential domino effect of bankruptcies. The collapse of one company can have ripple effects impacting suppliers, employees, and the broader economy. It's high time that the authorities consider implementing measures to stabilize the market like stricter regulations, financial support for struggling companies, or even industry consolidation to consider the long-term viability of the EV sector. What do you guys think can be done to salvage the situation? Let us know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Thanks a lot for watching.